This is Kelly from Rue Pursuit, and today I finished making all these clusters and I needed some envelopes to store them. So I am creating these little envelopes and I thought I would take you along for it uh, and show you how I've done them. And then it just keeps all of the similar clusters in, in one little envelope and they're so easy. I'm reorganizing my cluster bin and I have some of this paper that I just know that I'm probably not gonna use in my junk journals. It's just not quite the right style that I'm into right now. So if you have some papers that you like, but maybe they're not your style, this might work for you. This happens to be that for me. I'll just crease this a little more and hopefully it'll tear. There we go. Okay, so this pocket, I need it to be a little bit tall and skinny-ish. So I'm just going to do it this way and I just kind of fold it up and see where I want it. And then I don't really like the white, so I'm, I, I fold it over a bit so that uh, there's a little bit of a backing, but also the, the paper is forward and I fold it a little crookedy and then just, um, Smidge of glue. Not too much, just a little on there. And then I use my washi tape on the sides. Either one would work, I think. And this way you don't lose any of the pocket. And just uh, the way that I do it is I don't really measure. I just I just kind of lay it beside it and a little bit shorter than what I need. So I was doing really good at doing this beforehand, but uh, put me on camera and I forget to do my, my pocket, my little tab <laughs> before. Okay, what am I putting in here? I have my little um, watercolor samples. So I think that's what are going to go in here. Oh, I did have some square ones. Oh, you're going to be skinny. They're all going to be skinny. And those just go in there really nicely. Now those are all together. I think that's all I had. Perfect. So I can put those over here. And I need a tiny one because I've got these little itty bitties. So it doesn't need to be too big at all. I want it to be wide enough. I'll give it a good crease. So I can just tear it. There we go. And fold up the top. Fold up the bottom. Give myself a little lip. I'm making these lips a little bit bigger than I maybe normally would because I don't want stuff to get lost, lost in the pocket. So I'm doing this one. I'm into this polka dot thing. And this one, I think, um, there we go. I didn't really glue down that other part. I should glue it. Oh, I'll be consistent. Just glue it. And that will stay right where it's supposed to. Yep. And then we have that little pocket. And we can put all these these little clusters in there. But that one fit. I was nervous. Really fit. And you know, if you're really smart, then stack them all together and then put them in all at once instead of doing them one at a time. <laughs> one at a time. Oh dear, I don't know. There's a lot of these. I don't know if one's going to do it. Okay. Here they all are. 
squish them. Oh dear, this looks like, you know, almost like square peg in a round hole kind of a situation. There we go. Guess we're gonna have to make another one. Maybe a little wider. I don't know, does that help? I think it helps. It's a little wider. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> what do we want at the top? Okay. Fold this over first. Get our glue. Do that. wherever it wants. It's going swimmingly. <laughs> Just the way I like it. <laughs> yeah, so if you have a bunch, maybe just make the pocket a little wider. These two little guys. Oh, these are fun. Fun, fun, fun. Make that same kind again, and then we'll do some different ones. As you can see with my washi tape, I string all of mine together in a like kind so they stay grouped and they're much easier to locate ones that I want because I remember which group it's in. So I'm I like that quite a lot. I've done those already. Oh, I did do those. Those are because they were bigger. Oh, okay, that's why. Well, I think I just made a little one for nothing. <laughs> I could put my butterflies in it. All right, how about that? <laughs> See, See, oh, these are the same, same. And now they're all the same, same together. There, now you can go in my butterfly drawer. All right then. We need this one. I'm all bored with that paper, so let me grab another one of these. I, li I like those trees. I could use that in my junk journal for sure. And I always like pink. I did some of these already. This is pretty. Try it. We'll do it. I think we can do two of these. Oh, Ooh, did it. Oh, we've done it. Finally. Finally able to clean my desk up. That's nice. This one's got some pointy corners, so... Oh, it's too late. You lost your chance. Let's just do it like this. Sometimes I can do them perfect. Sometimes I do them crooked. We go. So now I'll just show you might as well since we're here. This scoot all that out of the way. I meant to organize my butterflies again. Okay, so I've been doing this with book pages too. Um, I'm gonna sh do a video on some of these other envelopes that I've got going. So don't look too closely. That's, those are surprises. But this is kind of how I'm organizing my clusters in this little this sewing. Oh, don't drop it. There it is. Singer sewing machine drawer. And then when I finish my clusters, then I can put them in here in my little envelopes. Oh, I made that just pick a little angle. And this can go here. Both can go there. This can go sideways. We're good. We are golden. And look at how nice those fit in there. And I'm not before it was like I was just digging through like trying to find the right kinds and they were never together so now this is wonderful wunderbar that's excellent oh missed one 
Oh, those are my butterflies. Never mind. So, all right, those are super easy little pockets. You can use them in your junk journal. You can use them to sort your ephemera. You can use them for anything you want. You can use them for your coupons. We don't really have coupons anymore. That was a very outdated thing to say. I'm going to delete that out. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my gosh. So anyway, <laughs> this is just a cute little video to show you some pockets that you can use and they're really fast to make and they're really fun. Thanks for coming along. No, I'm not going to tell you that yet. Um, if you want, you can check out my Etsy shop. I have both physical and digital items in there. The link is in the description below. And as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.